Hi everyone, hi. Welcome back to today's painting video. I'm Rinske Dauna and today I'm gonna work on this canvas. It's the same size canvas as this one, my painting from last week. If you haven't seen it, go check it out after this video. But today I wanna work on a darker base. So I will be starting creating a base color here. And when I'm walking now in nature and fall is really emerging, so all the colors are more into the browns, reds, yellow, orange tones. So I want to tone down a bit of the green colors, but the green is my comfort zone. I'm such a green person. So I don't know if that's gonna happen for this painting, but I'm gonna try. So let's get started. The canvas is now damp. And normally I'm used to working on a light canvas and then building up the darker colors. But now it's gonna be the opposite. So I will be starting with the dark colors and then building the contrast up with light colors. That's the idea. I have here red oxide, Sendike brown and sep green. Uh, so I think let's start with some red oxide here. I think this is a great background to start with. Definitely autumn colors. Um, I'm so not used to using red. <laughs> Gonna be challenging. Well, that could work. I'm so, so missing green in this. I will definitely start using some green, but I don't want this to look like a Christmas fitting thing, you know? Maybe let, let's start with some light brown first. I will add green. Yeah, the colors are so off in this one. Or maybe it's in my head because, like I said before, green is my color. And now having this palette, it just, it's different. Let's keep it at that. I'm gonna start adding some white to uh, make something happen there. Maybe I will cover this fully with all leaves. Maybe that's gonna be super interesting. Well, I'm just gonna Continue working, building everything up, and let's see what comes out.
yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited about this now. Now I'm thinking of it, probably a lot of you are like, is she doing? I love the background. Yeah. If you're not a green person, you probably love the background. <laughs> you know, the background should have been more goldish. I'm really starting to like the colors at the moment, but uh, the composition gets lost. The composition is really getting lost. So we need to fix that. would love to hear what you would do if this was your painting right now. Let me know in the comments. Love to hear that. I feel like I need to make this composition better, but I'm starting to really like it. Really starting to like it, especially this part I love and this one. I'm back with tea and uh, it all comes down to setting the leaves apart from the background. You know, I'm well on my way, but there needs to be a more clear direction. I'm thinking more dark colors, uh, more strokes, maybe some orange like here. But I know for sure if this was on a white background, then this painting was amazing. Yeah. I decided to paint a background color. So again, green, you know, green is such a comfort zone for me. I definitely think I'm going way too far with this painting, but I can't stop. Just can't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> I don't know how, but I found the power to stop. I let it dry, let it sit for a bit, hang it up. And now I'm truly, truly loving this painting. I don't know if I love it the best this way or vertical but the details are amazing and it's such a warm but wild piece so normally I have quite a lot of negative space and a very clear composition this time it's a bit all over the place but sometimes that's a composition too I would love to hear your comments if you love this better or with a white background would really love to hear that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday.